I thought you were asleep. I was. My stomach wasn't. Ladies and gentlemen, Garfield and friends. Friends are the... To help you get started, to give you a push on your way. Friends are the... To turn you around, get your feet on the ground for a brand new day. They'll pick you up when you're down. Help you swallow your pride when something inside's got to break on through to the other side. Friends are someone you can open up to when you feel like you're ready to flip. When you've got the world on your shoulders, friends are there to give you a tip. Friends are there when you need them. They're even there when you want. For a walk in the park, for a shot in the dark, friends are there. I don't care. But friends will care for you. Don't try any of this at home, kids. We're professionals. Garfield, come back here! No, no, I'm not going. Garfield, we are going camping. Only someone really dumb would enjoy a week in the woods. He never misses a cue. Now, get your things together and remember, bring only the absolute necessities. Absolute necessities, right. CD player, refrigerator, freezer, combo, microwave, VCR, laser disc. Well, do you have everything? Just about. Know where I can find 300 miles of extension cord? I said only the absolute necessities. Do you know what that means? You're right. I might need the trash compactor. Why? Why do I take him anywhere? Why? And don't forget, folks, the Duda Brothers Circus is now in town. Let's go to the circus. Anything is better than camping. Now featuring Binky the Clown and his tap dancing bear. You're right, let's go camping. The campsite is just a few miles from here. <sighs> well, it took a while, but I finally got my tent up. How are you doing, Garfield? Ahem. Little gem, instant inflatable cabin. Don't leave home without a home. This is roughing it? You know, Odie, camping out isn't so bad. You get to see nature up close. There's a squirrel. And there's a rabbit. And there's a duck. Huh? No. Cameo guest star. Well, we've been here 20 minutes. Let's go eat. After dinner, maybe I'll sing you guys a song. Want a hot dog, Garfield? Cook at 350 degrees for 35 minutes. They should have special campfire instructions on TV dinners. Maybe you can eat these like this. No one will ever get rich off the mashed potato ice cream bar. Here you go, Odie. Eat up. Pop. There, there, boy. It's just the wind or some squirrels or something. Nothing to be afraid of. Don't listen to him. There's plenty to be afraid of. Out in the woods here, they have pumas who love to play camper buffet. Plus, there are snakes and wolves and monsters and... 
little girls in uniforms who make you buy cookies and all sorts of scary things. <laughs> Footprints. Who do they belong to, boy? John's last blind date. Someone with fur all over him. John's last blind date in the winter. Oh, bear! Those are bear prints. <laughs> There's a bear lurking around, Odie. Let's go. Odie, you dog Dumbo, don't go in there. It might be full of pumas. Don't worry, Odie. I'm coming. I don't know why, but I am. Odie. It looks like. The remains of Binky. The bear got Binky. That's terrible. Well, sort of terrible. But where's the bear? Well, guys, I think I'll sing you a nice after-dinner song. Hey, my singing isn't that bad. We're trapped like rats. Speak for yourself. This is it. We're done for. Why does he have a circus collar on? Because he's Binky's dancing circus bear. Play something. I should sing. Okay. Thinking. Thinking. Ah, oh, one little cubby bear far away from home met a friendly hiker on his way to Rome. Said the hiker to the cubby bear, "Come away with me, and we'll live on the pasta in old Napoli." Keep singing. Uh, Keep two singing. Two cubby bears far away from home met a friendly hiker on his way to Rome. Said the hiker to the cubby bear, "Hey bear, why'd you run away?" Nice bear. We have an act together, remember? This is what always happens when you have partners. Sing for your supper, or we'll be supper. Oh, right. Uh, two little cubby bears far away from home met a friendly hiker on his way to Rome. Said the hiker to the cubby bear, "Come away with me. Hey, we'll live on I the pasta in old Napoli." Don't ask. <laughs> uh, three little cubby bears far away from home met a friendly hiker on his way to Rome. Said the hiker to the cubby bear, "Come away with me." <clears throat> 387 little cubby bears far away from home met a cutting kindly hiker. A hiker on the way to Rome said, said the hiker to the cubby bear, come away with me. When can I stop? The when his trainer comes me. and gets him! When will that be? He's on vacation till we little get cubby bears next. far away from home. Met a kindly hiker on You know what the sad Rome part of this is? This is the sixth Come time John's me. taken we'll me camping, and this is Gold still the most leave. fun I've ever had. <laughs> is bored. What to do? What to do? What to do? Let's see. Uh, I could read a book and improve my mind. I could do my chores. Or I could play a rotten trick on Wade and make him run screaming around the barnyard. <laughs> hmm. What a tough decision. Hey, you'd have made the same choice. Admit it. Giant lobsters from outer space are stalking us all with drawn butter. Oh, I've been worried about that. Help out, help! Giant lobsters from outer space! Major crustacean alert! Help me! <laughs> oh, 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 this is the 14th time I've done this to him today. Oh, I love it. Help, Mayday! 
Jeopardy situation, panic severe panic. Of course in hell. Disaster of the baby. I love it. Hey, like, uh, what's the crisis of the hour, Weedo? It's a 628. Excuse us a second, Bo. 628. Uh, 628. Oh, here it is. Living radioactive saltines from Saturn invading our tomato soup. No, 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 no. That's 629. Excuse me. Giant lobsters from outer space. Oh, this isn't the... Wade! Wade, you worry about the silliest things in the world. I do not. The pimentos in olives are staring at you. It's possible. The entire nation of Paraguay is talking about you behind your back? A valid concern? Staplers are spying on important paperwork so they can take over the world? Can you prove they're not? Wade, enough already! I'm sorry, Orson. I'm afraid of everything! Oh, yeah. I'm afraid of being a coward I'm scared of being afraid I worry that I worry too much I'm afraid afraid is another name afraid rock flowers herbal tea they all pose a threat to me water clouds trees and sky oh yeah I forgot I'm afraid to fly I'm afraid of something that makes it get sound. I'm scared of a bug that falls on the ground. I worry about things that I can't see. And then when I see them, they really scare me. Day and night scare me too. I'm even scared of me and you. I'm afraid of everything. Stop the music. What am I doing? I'm even scared to sing. Wait, I'm going to find something in this world that even you can't be afraid of. Hey, that, that kind of scares me. So there's got to be something that won't frighten Wade. <clears throat> Sounds of skepticism. Yeah, that duck's just plain chicken. Forgive the expression. You're forgiven. Well, uh, let's scope it out, man. It's a challenge. We'll find something. Come on. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, come, come on, on. We'll, we'll find, find it. it. Gotta be here before making the book. Take a look at this flower, Wade. See? Nothing scary about it. But there's a bee on it. Uh, let's find something else. Okay, Wade, here's a rock. Now, tell me what's scary about a rock. Uh, let me examine it. I'll keep looking. This bone ought to do it. There's no way Wade can... Ow! Grimace! Yow! Pain of pains! Hey, duck. Tell me what's to be afraid of from this bone. A bone? Well, gee, I guess there's nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> Excuse me, there are children watching. Meow! Oh, pain of plenty! <laughs> okay, he's afraid of bones now. Wade, I give up. You're afraid of everything. I'm surprised you're not afraid of the air. Air? Oh, that's right. Air contains pollution. I'd better not breathe. There is nothing in this world that doesn't scare this duck. Like, uh, old country air pigaroo. I'll tell you what won't terrify El Ducko here. Ow! <sighs> oh. A solitary feather. Gee. That feather came from my very own personal me, and I cannot see any reason to be afraid of it. You did it, Bo. You found something Wade isn't scared of. Oh, it was nothing, man. I'm gonna go finish moving the piano. I'll be right there to help you. Gosh, I guess if there's one thing in this world not to be afraid of, there may be others. My whole life has changed. Farewell, feather. I go forth into the world now, a being of great courage.
Maybe not, but at least we've got some courage on the farm. Right! We've got Orson. He's the bravest one of all. Ahem, <clears throat> you mean that brave piggo? Orson, what are you doing in there? What are you afraid of? Uh, 746? Uh, giant flying submarine sandwiches dive bombing us with salami? No, no, that's a 647. Oh, uh, <clears throat> attack by legion of crazed Pat Sajak impersonators? No, that's a 467. No, no, no. Oh, here it is. <clears throat> Being used as couch by extremely fat person. Let's see what else is on it. Let's see. Uh, the Binky Show, Name That Fish, Rick Delfoid's Workout, Musket True. Oh, here's a good show. Where's the remote control? For that matter, where's the TV? <laughs> now this is much more convenient. Well, perhaps you'd like us to move the kitchen closer so you won't have to walk all the way in there. You think that's possible? Garfield, for the last time. And now, the talkingest talk show host in town, Joe Palaver. Cats, what are they good for? Apparently, nothing. We try to find someone to come on our show and defend cats, but we couldn't. Gee, I wonder who they could get to speak out on behalf of cats. Ooh, now, wait a minute. Hold on. Joe Palaver is the rudest, nastiest talk show host in the world. I am not going on his show. Do you understand me? I understand perfectly. Our next guest is cat lover John Arbuckle. Go, uh, oh, John. You tell me. Does your cat do any tricks, Arbuckle? Well, no. Does your cat do any chores? Well, no. Does your cat, in fact, do anything? Uh, not really. John didn't tell me he was going to tell the truth. Then of what good is this cat of yours? Answer me that. You can't answer me. I've got to help John. Is your cat even cute? Well, uh... No. There it is, folks. Proof positive that cats are absolutely worthless. Now, what do we do with them? Stop it! Stop it! Whoa! Garfield, I know how you feel about this man, and I've decided what I have to do. I knew I could count on you. I'm going to go home and forget about it. I knew that was what I could count on you to do. There's got to be a way to get this clown to change his mind about cats. Uh, sit down and we'll touch up your makeup, Mr. Palaver. Be careful with that mirror. If you break a mirror, it's seven years bad luck. I have to do another show this afternoon. He's superstitious. Hmm. Okay, I think we know how to handle this. Garfield, master of disguise. I'll be back before the next show. I just want to go get some lunch and... 
A black cat has crossed my path. That's bad luck. I need something to undo it. You know, when you get panicked and don't pay attention, accidents can happen. Like slipping on a wet floor. Yo! Starting. I've got to get my good luck charms. I can't have bad luck. I have to do a TV show. Ah, here it is. My lucky rabbit's foot. Aren't very lucky for the rabbit, are they? The black cat. He's after me because of what I said on my show. That's it. But he won't get me. I'll hide under control. He won't find me in here. Smile. You're on catnip camera. No, no, keep away from me. Yeah, I know this is kind of nasty, but it's my job. And now, the talking is talker in town. Joe Keep that cat away from me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Everything I, I, everything bad I said about cats, I take it back. Cats are fine. Cats are nice. I will never say another bad thing about a cat again. I don't know how he does it, but he always does it. Audience, do you understand what I'm saying? Are you with me? No, no, I said I was sorry. Help, the cat, help. I didn't want to do it to him, but there are some things a cat's just got to do. I'd better get this paint off in case someone else believes that nonsense about black cats being bad luck. I don't want folks being afraid of me. Of course, there are advantages to it, I suppose. Oh.